You guys know the drill. Season one is here and we got three new weapons. And of course, we're going to start out by getting the worst of the three done. And that is the Storm Ender Launcher. Now, I say that the Storm Ender Launcher is the worst of the bunch. And it definitely is in multiplayer, no doubt about it. If you try to use this against somebody in there, it does literally nothing to them. But in case you haven't seen what this launcher does yet, let me show you. It's like an EMP launcher that shoots out a little pulse. Now, already I'm seeing that it doesn't have any ammo with it. So that's good. We don't have to worry about going to any ammo stations, but it does almost nothing to these zombies. So I'm hoping that when we pack a punch it, it gets a little bit better. And it is called the Storm Ender. So I want to see if I can actually end the Storm Caller with it. So let's go ahead and pack a punch. I'll throw in a rare Aether tool and some dead wire for fun. It already looks pretty cool with pack a punch one on it. Ooh, is it one shotting zombies though? Where's a zombie with full health? We got one right here. No. Maybe I need to be really close to him. Let's try this. Oh, I don't know how much I like this. I was thinking when we pack a punch, it'd be way better. But it already shoots slow as shit. So this is not helping out. So far, I've liked this update a lot. A lot of the content added in is really cool. I haven't gotten any of the new schematics yet, but I'm hoping I will soon. And there's a new Act 4 event where you can go over here to the bad signal that'll bring you to the Dark Aether, which is really sweet. In there, you can get a lot of like zombie kills. I think there's also a rift that spawns right behind it in this tornado that I, I kind of want to try out. But I don't know if this is the best weapon to bring in there but outside of all like the new weapons and the new content that's all good i have a few gripes with this update it seems like i've been crashing way more than usual as you can probably tell by uh my small rucksack here and my one play armor vest now i've played zombies the majority of the time since this update has been out and uh, i'm gonna give you a little spoiler warning if you haven't seen what's in this little bad signal area so feel free to skip forward for a second but at the end of that dark aether area where you're fighting that worm boss i got two attempts at it it beat my ass both times second Second time though, I got kind of far with it. I got it to half health, but there was only like a minute left on the timer and then I ended up dying anyways. I didn't have any more self revives left and just went down, could not get back up. Well, my other two times that I tried to attempt it, I got like all geared up. I went through, I went and found like a three plate armor vest and a large backpack. I got enough money to fully pack a punch my weapons. And then right during like the last five minutes of the match, I crashed. So it seemed like before this update, I was crashing way, way less. I wasn't getting any crashes really. And now after the the update i've already crashed twice out of like the four or five games i've played so really not happy about that another thing i'm not happy about is this right here the outlast contract as some of you may know it's been nerfed and this event was basically everybody's go-to grinding method after the x fills got taken out i still think spores are a pretty good way to grind but just to show you what's nerfed about the Outlast, let's start it up. From what I've heard, the nerf they've done to Outlast is that if you leave the EG area and you're no longer progressing the contract, no more zombies will spawn. So gone are the days of starting up a Outlast contract and then just walking out of the area just to get all the spawns. We're literally getting no zombies right now, not a single one. We head back in though. It looks like the progression goes up a lot faster now as well. And we're still getting no zombies. What happened? Oh, here they come. And another thing that got nerfed, which really sucks, especially for solo players, is the decoy. The decoy, you can now only hold two of them in your, like, inventory here, like, as your tactical. You can always only hold two in your backpack. And now the duration is cut short. Before, I think it was like 10 to 12 seconds, and now it's like 6 to 8 seconds, which really sucks. So a lot of good content added into this update, and then a lot of stuff also taken away. Let's try to finish this contract while we got double points going, so we get double the money for it. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, maybe we didn't get double the money. But if we want to take on that storm caller, we need to get this pack a punch sooner rather than later. So we got to start doing some more contracts and getting some kills. Luckily, the spore contract, I'm pretty sure it stayed mostly the same. Let's find out. Because we need to get our kills for this anyways. The only camo we need to get for it is 250 kills. And then we just need to exfil. And then after that, we need 100 kills or 300 kills while it's pack a punch. This can't even take out a spore. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh this thing is ass. Maybe I can melee it instead. Yeah, melee does more damage against the spores. That's crazy. I was really hoping for a 180 on this gun while pack a punch. It is not looking like it. We might need Pack-A-Punch 2 just to work in Tier 1. So let's do the strat of having an inhibitor on one of them. Let it tickle it for a second. Put the inhibitor on another one. Leaving only two left. Still just only let it tickle it. Don't kill it. And I think we'll still get a good amount of spawns. I guess I'll do this till we get our camo. And once we get our camo, I'm going to try to do as many contracts as we can to see if we can get our money up so we can get Pack-A-Punch. I don't even think I've gotten my ammo mod to go off once with this gun. It might be busted, but there's our 250 kills. We don't got to worry about kills anymore. All we got to worry about is money. 
There we go. Anything good? Nope. Might well we get something good. But we got enough to get this pack a punch too, so let's do that. And maybe for some reason it'll get way better as pack two, but I doubt it. But we still need to get 15,000 if we want to get pack a punch three. So I'm going to spam do some contracts. Maybe we'll get some of the new schematics, like that new Aether Blade, the throwing knife that's like the Hell's Retriever, or like the Golden Armor. Or we might crash. Find out next time. Oh, we got an epic Aether tool. I'll take that. And a Jug schematic, but I already have it. But how's this pack two epic rarity doing? against tier two zombies yeah that's kind of what i thought i got immediately fucked up this thing's garbage garbage doo-doo butter i'm still holding out hope that it might be good against the storm caller though because this thing only shoots like emp which is all electricity on top of it having dead wire and the storm caller funnily enough is weak to electricity i had enough to get pack three but i needed to buy a self revive because i know for sure i'm gonna go down going against the storm caller so let's go ahead and start a tier one bounty and see what this does against any elites because i haven't tried it yet where you at pal show yourself oh he's right over here what's up mimic Ooh, how much damage did it do? Oh, barely anything. Oh, don't jump at me like that. This thing sucks. Oh, uh, we got a frenzied and we got to jump down. I wonder if I can charge the shot. No, I don't think so. The second I click, it shoots. Stop shooting at me. Only I'm allowed to do the shooting. Knock that shit off. At least it one shots tier one zombies now. That's good. I do not have high hopes for this weapon. All hopes have been... Slam down. Almost got him though. Come on. There we go. Oof. Oh, and another self revive for our troubles. And some dead shot. Maybe that'll help. All right, let's go get pack three and try to get back in time before the storm leaves. What's up, storm caller? We'll be right with you. Don't you worry. What's up, abomination? I'm not here for you today. You'll be spared. Give me pack three. Thank you. And we're getting out of here. What does this do against tier two zombies? It still doesn't kill them. Ah, well, it killed some of them. The armored ones, not so much. If a zombie has any kind of protection, even a fucking condom on, it's still not doing anything to him. All right, moment of truth. Is this weapon worth using at all? If it's not good against a storm caller, you can't really call this the storm ender. Holy shit, it does nothing. Little to nothing. Nothing is an exaggeration. The smell of my nuts do more damage than this thing can. I can't even stop him from health zapping me. Even I'm with me shooting him in the hand. This thing is garbage. All right. Have a cluster strike and have a good day. I'm out of here. This is so sad, dude. I had high hopes for this weapon. Because I knew it was bad in multiplayer. You know, nothing can change that. But I thought with Pack-A-Punch, we might get a damage increase on this. But this makes the shotguns look like fucking OP weapons. This is bad. All right, we haven't tried against a Mangler yet. Let's see does basically nothing this is terrible and then these tier three zombies it's like nothing's even hitting them can't even kill a hellhound this is fully pack-a-punched an epic rarity any other gun can at least kill some of these zombies this does nothing absolutely nothing well let's exfil and at least see if we uh got gold on it this looks like a monster in the tier one zone now with a pack three it goes crazy it has a wide spread there's no way they intentionally made it this bad though right did any of the devs use this in zombies? Or are they just pack a punch three it? You know, spawn in with their flawless crystal. Destroy a few tier one zombies. You're like, yeah, this is good. It looks like F X fills got buffed slightly. We're getting a bunch of hellhounds here now. And it looks like a little bit more spawns, but there's going to be a big delay in between each X fill. So probably still not worth it to grind on them. It's definitely faster to grind on meat instead. And yeah, I said it. All right, we did get gold, but unfortunately for us, our grind is not over with this weapon. We need to get 300 kills with it while it's pack-a-punch now. <sighs> All right, let's do this. And before we can even start working on our pack-a-punch kills, I need to get this up to pack-a-punch too. Otherwise, it's not even gonna be worth the, the shots that's firing. Yeah, we got pack-a-punch too. Now it's time to grind. Well, if we're getting anything good out of using this weapon is just one more Zircon scale. One step closer to doing Serpentine and one step closer towards doing Borealis. At least it's pretty good in like the tier one zone against these weak ass zombies, but that's not saying a whole lot. It's like saying that Marshawn Lynch would do well in a little league team. Bro would crush in peewee football. It's got pretty decent range too, but I still have yet to see a single zombie be affected by my ammo mod. Cause I got brain rot on here. I have not brain rotted a single zombie, not one. So not only does it do zero damage outside of the tier one zone, but you can't even get your ammo mod to go off. I have seen like the necromancer things pop up like it is doing brain rot damage like that right there. So maybe it's still doing like 
the type, the elemental damage, but it's not going off at all. Oh, and there's our Zircon scale. Let's go. By let's go, I mean let's get the fuck out of here. Actually, you know what? Since we really don't have anything to lose, let me see what this Aether Rift's all about. I don't even know if I can get in it. Well, let's see what's going on. What happens if we go in here? A whole lot of nothing. Oh, wait, a Rift pedestal open. Place pedestal offering. Okay, let's try the meat. I brought meat here because I, if I did go through... I know in the Dark Aether, when you do the actual mission, you can get a dog there. But I don't know if it's taking it. Guess we'll see. Do you accept my meat? Nope. Someone will figure it out. Oh, it looks like it spit it all out, too. Don't spit my meat out. Very rude to spit a man's meat out. Our job is done here. Let's exfil. All right, well, this is what this piece of shit looks like with Golden Enigma. Honestly, not too bad. It's a very cool looking design and a cool idea. They just gave it no damage at all. And this is what our Storm Ender looks like with Zircon skill on it. Still a decent looking weapon. You know, the camos look good on it. It just sucks ass. Well, this might actually be the worst gun in zombies. I would not bring this into any game unless you're actually just trying to get camos on it. And that's it. I even know what else to say about it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.